I'm really struck by that question and the way you the way you approach it, Gail. That you know, um, what 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 was kind of defining for you in your life? Uh, is that how what is that how the question goes? Or what was the earliest most defining thing? Right, and that really and often again, you know, that I will often at least probably forty percent of the time get, oh gosh, I don't know, because we're just not usually invited to think that way. And I'll say, you know, there's, there's no right or wrong here. And this is just you and me. It's not a test. You can even change it and say, I want to change what I said. Was <laughs> so it like gut, what just came. And, you know, I could see people sometimes literally breaking out into a sweat, you know, about getting it right or it being a good enough early. <laughs> but when they finally, I don't know, the, the first thing that came into my head was really silly. And I get that probably 80% of the time. I'll say, okay, we'll just say it anyway, because probably it's not silly. And then it, it turns out to be incredibly poignant you know, and definitely connected to what they came in with. I'll, I'll give you a, a very brief example. I so, you know, you, you specialize in coherent narrative therapy um, in what way would you consider this an experiential therapy? Well, <clears throat> it probably would be good for me to define it first because it's it's uh, <laughs> my invention. And it's coherent narrative therapy is basically uh, an amalgam of coherence therapy and what I call narratology. Um, didn't make up the word, but I differentiated from the narrative therapy that was developed in the 80s by Epstein and White because narratology can be practiced in many fields and by other than therapists and um, teachers, doctors, lawyers, and especially parents um, can practice narratology because that basically just means calling the full story of somebody that you are guiding in some way so that you have the full context of them. Right? So <clears throat> both narratology and coherence um, share the belief that our behavior, whether it's symptomatic or not, is a result of early learnings and things that we have lived, which can be transformed both by insight-based work and by experientially driven interventions. 